Welcome to Think Big's SAT Tips and Strategies. My name is Glenn, and I am the proprietor and principal tutor at Think Big Online SAT Preparation. Today we're going to cover SAT Common Writing Error Number 3, Modification and Word Order. Let's look at a sentence that has this error. Barking loudly, the tree had the dog's leash wrapped around it. In this sentence, we have an opening phrase barking loudly, which modifies the first noun or pronoun that comes after the comma. In this sentence, tree. Barking loudly, the tree had the dog's leash wrapped around it. This sentence is saying that the tree is barking loudly, which doesn't make sense. Let's look at how this sentence is revised. Barking loudly, the dog wrapped its leash around the tree. Opening phrase, Barking loudly modifies the first noun or pronoun that comes after the comma. In this sentence, dog. Barking loudly, the dog wrapped its leash around the tree. This sentence is saying that the dog is barking loudly, which is correct. This is essentially what we're going to be doing on the next four practice problems. Making sure that opening phrases or clauses modify the proper noun or pronoun that comes after the comma. Let's begin. One of the northernmost countries of Europe, Finland's borders are Russia on the east, Sweden on the west, and the tip of Norway on the north. Opening phrase. One of the northernmost countries of Europe modifies the first noun after the comma. Borders. This sentence is saying borders are one of the northernmost countries. Incorrect. It should be saying Finland. Is one of the northernmost countries of Europe. The sentence could be revised one of the northernmost countries of Europe, Finland borders Russia on the east, Sweden on the west, and the tip of Norway on the north. The right answer is C. After serving two terms in the Texas State Senate, Barbara Jordan's election to the United States House of Representatives, where she served from 1973 to 1979. Okay, opening phrase. After serving two terms in the Texas State Senate, modifies the first noun after the comma election this sentence is saying that election served two terms it should say that Barbara Jordan served two terms all right we need to use Barbara after the comma we can get rid of a because election is modified we can get rid of B because it, whatever that refers to, is ambiguous, is modified. We can get rid of C, same problem. Let's keep D, and let's keep E. Let's read D closely. After serving two terms in the Texas State Senate, Barbara Jordan had been elected to the United States House of Representatives, where she served from 1973 to 1979. Had been is the wrong verb tense. And we know this because the sentence has the verb served, which is simple past tense, and so too is was. All right, but let's read E closely. After serving two terms in the Texas State Senate, Barbara Jordan was elected to the United States House of Representatives where she served from 1973 to 1979. E is the right answer. Moving on. Unlike her sister Heather, who would always put spiders safely outside if she found them in the house, Joanne's fear kept her from going anywhere near the creatures. Okay, opening phrase. Unlike her sister Heather. Modifies the first noun after the comma, fear. 
This sentence is saying fear is unlike her sister Heather. It should say that Joanne is unlike her sister Heather. All right, so again, we'll go through the answer choices and eliminate those in which the wrong noun or pronoun is being modified. A modifies fear, out. B modifies fear, out. C modifies fear, out. E modifies they, which I guess in this sentence refers to spiders, out. Let's look at D. Unlike her sister Heather, who would always put spiders safely outside if she found them in the house, Joanne was too afraid to go anywhere near the creatures. D is the right answer. Last one. Concerned that people will click to borrow an ebook from a library rather than click to buy it. Library access to the ebook forms of most U.S. publishers' titles is blocked. Okay, opening clause. Concern that people will click to borrow an ebook from a library rather than click to buy it. Modifies the first noun after the comma in this sentence, access. The way the sentence is written, access is concerned. But who's concerned? U.S. publishers. All right? Okay. A, access is modified. Wrong. B, it is modified. Wrong. C, forms is modified. Wrong. D, most major U.S. publishers. That's right. E, most major U.S. publishers. That's also right. Let's read D and E closely. Start with D. Concern that people will click to borrow an ebook from a library rather than click to buy it. Most U.S. publishers block library access to the ebook forms of their titles. This looks good, especially because we've got U.S. publishers, subject, block, verb. All right? Let's check E. Concern that people will click to borrow an ebook from a library rather than click to buy it. Most U.S. publishers blocking library access. There's a problem here. Yes, we have U.S. publishers, which is a subject, but blocking is not a verb. Right answer choice is D. All right, that's it for SAT common writing error number three, modification in word order. All you guys got to do is when you test, make sure opening phrases or clauses modify the proper noun or pronoun after the comma. If you do so, you'll do well on this problem, this kind of problem. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other ones. Have a great day.